Hi there, I just wanted to get on here and say a little bit about the whole publishing business because as a writer it affects me day to day and, and what I'm writing and what, where am I going with this and um, I just wanted to say that I had a rejection on Wednesday as most of you know if you've been watching my videos um, and that's all very well, it didn't surprise me over much because that's what happens in this business um, but the, the fact is that when you get something like that it's an undeniable psychological fact that it will stop you from writing for a while because you, you pick up the pen or you open the computer and you go, what is the point? So um, I realized last night in talking to my friend Deb that um, there is a decision that I am going to have to make and that decision regards whether I want to continue pursuing publishers or am I going to pursue productivity and the fulfillment of my passion for story writing. Now that might seem that most both are possible, but the fact is that this uh, psychological rebound from every rejection letter that I get is going to stop me from writing so much. So if I continue to send stuff to publishers, I will not write so many books in my lifetime. Now I have plenty of ideas, so there's no shortage right there. But if every time, let's say, if every time I get a rejection, it stops me writing for a week or a month, that could be devastating. It might be a whole book list that people get to read. And to be honest, I would rather be productive than published. And um, I believe in my stories. And okay, so they're not going to fit this publisher or that publisher. Maybe they're not going to fit any publisher. So right now, I am tending towards thinking that I will publish it myself because I believe in these stories and I know that they're not junk. They just don't happen to suit this publishing house or that one. And I'm thinking I'm not going to bother submitting any more stuff. Now, there's going to be a lot of people that don't like this idea because they say you've got to do the real thing, you've got to get a real publisher, or else it doesn't count as anything at all. But um, I am tending to agree with Daryl's video on this one that um, self-publishing does not taint your image. It's only going to hurt you if you write a bad book, and I am determined to keep my commitment to good quality writing. I don't want to publish junk, absolutely not. That's why I have 10 critiques for every manuscript that I get out well I had for the last one and I'll have more for the next one if I can, you know. So um that's um that's my reasoning behind this and I think that if I stop getting rejection letters then I'm going to write more books in my lifetime and in the end that's what I want to do rather than maybe get one published after a whole series of rejections. I mean what's the point in that? I've self published already so it's not scary for me. I know how the deal works and you've just got to do your marketing properly and it's gonna run. So um that's my decision, I suppose. I'm still thinking about it, but I'm really thinking that, that I'm going to just forget about the publishers and concentrate on the writing so that I can retain my passion in my stories, my belief that they're good, because every rejection is a knock to that. And um, even if I know that the rejection is not taken personally, that it's more a matter of style or, or something, even if I know that the rejection is not because it's written badly, um, that's not the idea. I can know that in my head, but it's still going to uh, stand in my inspiration, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, thanks for letting me ramble. I think I've repeated myself a number of times, so I better stop. But um, keep up the good work, all you writers out there, and, and consider what I've said, because you might want to get off the merry-go-round of publishers and rejections, and just write, and do what you were called to do, and do what you were made to do, and uh, have fun, and um, take it places. See you later.